their displays of emotions are real, they're not intended to move me just for the sake of moving me, that I can count on what they say to be honest, which means different things to different people, but it's still a character evaluation. It's not really an argumentary evaluation. So that's why I'm saying these are F level only. It's F, FX, FE and FI level uh, processing for different types. I'm, I'm thinking it could also apply to TI and TE. You, you're authentic because what you're saying is consistent with your previous statements and your, your, uh, your thoughts. And I agree with you, but, I, but my, I agree completely. But what I'm saying is that when we turn it into the word authentic, you're taking the, you're taking the, the status away from stuff that's being said or argued or done and putting it onto the person themselves. And you're saying, okay, I like this guy. He seems authentic to me. What does that mean? Well, it means something different to different types, but it's still fundamentally saying he works on an F level. Mm -hmm. So it matters a lot more to an INTP for F reasons that I be TI sound. I still have to be F sound, but the TI soundness gives me F points because they're so not really very F-y, you know? Interesting. Yes. Uh, for the Delta <laughs> Quadrant, where we have F I and T E, I believe a person, if a, if a, when we evaluate a per, evaluate a person's authenticity, it's it's definitely based on his F I. If he is, his F I is just and pure and are actually his intentions, then we will take T E actions to fulfill those goals. Okay, but how do you evaluate my F I? Hmm. What do you mean, Eric? I don't. Well, you said mm -hmm. you said you guys are making an evaluation about somebody whether you like them or whether you think they're good or bad, mm -hmm. right? And you're mm -hmm. saying you're basing it on the oh, authenticity of their FI. How do you know? How do you judge somebody's FI? It's, are any of these things part of how you judge it? It's it's related to how our uh, social group functions. Um, in in the Delta Quadrant, so we use F I N T E. Um, when we work together with T E, we choose who we work with based on shared uh, intentions and goals in life, based on F I. Yeah, but the evaluation of F I is that still T I? No, it's it's. We evaluate it directly. We ask them, or we we observe them and see what their intentions are, what their goals are, what their ethics are, what their FI is essentially, because it's very yeah, but, stable but for each you, person. But how do you draw conclusions from that? It's um, we we see if we see if their ethics ethical beliefs are. Um, congruent with ours so that we can and if they are then we'll we'll be more willing to work with that person but work I mean TE do you mean like if you get same FI and have same values exactly then we'll do the same things mm -hmm. and achieve the same goals and the whole society this whole social group is built upon that so it's important to uh, accurately evaluate someone's FI. Okay, so it's about in service having, of TE. Yeah, but same FI facts in a way. So it doesn't matter. Here's my. Let me chime in. I'm thinking what you're basically getting at is it doesn't matter that we reach the same values through opposite channels. The fact that my value doesn't actually reflect FI, it actually reflects a variety of things that are not FI. Uh, I ha it, it reflects a lot of FE and it reflects a lot of TI. It reflects a lot of spiking, basically, of knowing what could, what I could get called out on and how to avoid getting called out on shit. So it's like that may display as values that are consistent with your own, but if you would probably, if you were to actually feel me on the, the 
etymology of it, the path by which we got there, then um, I think you'd probably be like, well, that's not an authentic reason to have those values. Hmm. I, I think it's just when people, f uh, FI users interact with TI users, we, we misinterpret how um, it's because the other group have a different value system, a different way of, I don't know, functioning within Eating their problem. social group, with operating within their social group. So we mistaken their actions for uh, inconsistent FI. But really, it's that they don't care about FI at all. They care about TI. And their society, their group of people is built upon TI and FE. Okay, so so within the alpha group, it's about um, being consistent with your ideas, sharing your ideas, creating new ideas, and then when if you have good TI, good ideas, then you gain more FE approval from the group, and people like you, and that's like how it works within your society. I tell you, dude, you, you gain you got a lot of I've right off the bat and continue to be very impressed with your insightfulness, which typically means impressed with how your shit fits into my existing TI understanding of this stuff. And it doesn't contradict shit. And it seems it resonates as resonates with both the data and with the model or the taxonomy or whatever you want to call it. So uh, I think you're right that that has generated good FE from me to you, like a good positive, or actually good That's FI it. of you. I, I FI value you because of that. I'm okay with the FE as well. <laughs> I, I mean, I, obviously, I try to FE everybody. I'm always trying to schmooze everybody because it's the childlike function for me. Well, thanks, Eric. The feelings, uh, it goes both ways. Thanks, Hal. <laughs> it made me super happy to see you doing all those drugs the other day, too. Uh, no, that wasn't fun. <laughs> The draw was bad. <laughs> but are you recording this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Should I not mention the drugs at the end? Or well, you just criminalized me. But... No, I'm not. I'm, what I'm talking about is it made me happy to see you take those Tylenols and those aspirins because you had such a bad headache. I yeah, too, too, much, about you. too much Tylenol. I was worried about you, and, and I'm glad to see that you're feeling better. That's all I was getting at, Susie. So thank you for. Reminding me that sometimes my obviously well-intentioned and simple words can be misinterpreted as representing something else, something darker, something more gritty, something more from the streets. Anyway, thanks for watching. Any other comments on, on stuff about stuffs? No. No? Okay. Hey, thanks. And don't forget to eat plenty of cheese. Perfect. Mm, I bet. 100% perfect. You see how it's interesting when you say shit. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Sometimes. And that's oh. probably because he, he doesn't say shit when he doesn't have interesting shit to say, maybe. Oh, but he has said that TI is intimidating in some way. So, like, when I ask you things, you sometimes go like, no, 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 I don't want to talk. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't weird. want to have a battle. He's it's... like, God, do I have to battle everything? No. I don't want a battle. I know he ends up in battles, but that's not what I want. <laughs> Just yeah. no shit. What was this video about again? The paper Authenticity thing. and... Uh, oh, yeah, authenticity, yeah. You, I'm sure you could come up with the more interesting uh, slogan. That would be... The F-E Ha-Cha-Cha. Authenticity type likability and awareness. Yeah. That's the FP ha cha cha. I'll just get rid of that part. Authenticity type likability awareness and awareness. Uh, That's good. I think that was a good video. I want to add perception. There. 
Authenticity, likability, perception, and awareness. I'm going to go make My some. cognitive functions. Let's okay. See All right, see you later. Don't forget to eat when they are. Hello. Yo. Hello. Yo, yo, yo. Not, not host Mark in the his and his and that's all. I was supposed to look for something for you, huh? Let's see, Susie. And we're going to put how. I don't have one for you. He's uh, he's editing a video. I am. Uh, I'm just doing the TE of it real quick. <laughs> Motherfucker just entered room one. <laughs> Who is that? I have no idea. I'm you, somebody's entered room one. Yeah. Well, their name is Motherfucker. Thought that was funny. Oh. Well, somebody's got to be a motherfucker. Otherwise, there would be no children. That's right. Well, no. 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 Is... You could be a not yet. A, you could fucking not yet mother and still have one child. But we would eventually dwindle away to no people. If, if nobody but, fucked mothers? Right, because nobody would ever have more than one child. Okay. And not everybody would have one child. No, 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 no. Janelle, do you no, no, no. do you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm trying to. No, yeah, I do. Kind of. It doesn't really matter. Oh, it matters. It matters more than anything you've ever thought of before in your life. I was trying to figure out if you were making a false argument to see if I would catch it or not, but then I decided I didn't care. I don't think I do that. Uh, are you sure? What argument were they making? I said a false one to see if I would catch it. You know, like to be like trolly. You I don't know, ever do that with people. And, well, which argument in this instance were you thinking that about, though? Well, you you first stated that. If there weren't motherfuckers, there wouldn't be any children. And you correctly called me on that. I was wrong. I realized you don't have to already be a mother to become a mother. So you could fuck non mothers and make them mothers. But then I realized, but if you could only do that, then once they had one child, unless they had twins. Now, the thing is, your twins and your triplets and whatnot, they might account for the barren women. So, they might cancel each other out, and you might have a maintain a completely stable population, um, assuming everybody has their allotment of one kid if they can, basically. Mm -hmm. But it sure would hurt the prophylactics industry. Prophylactic? Yeah, it's a it means contraception. Oh, okay. Let me, let me Google it. Prophylactic. Oh, a medicine or course of action used to prevent disease. So I guess it has more broad meaning than I thought. Hmm. I guess it refers, it's, I always thought it referred to condoms specifically. So that makes sense because they're more disease preventing than, say, um, IUDs. But you're probably disease causing in general. <laughs> I would say, I mean, that's what they do, you know. An IUD they cause you to have a little disease in your uterus so that you don't get pregnant. Would you ever date somebody who wants to go to the theater? <laughs> 